This is the Sugar Beet Report, bringing you the latest information from NDSU throughout the sugar beet growing season. Today we're talking about early season treatments and planting with Joe Hastings, agronomist for the American Crystal Sugar Company. Joe, how is this year's planting season looking compared to the last couple years? Well, actually, we're quite excited, Bruce. We look to be earlier than planted than we have been the last few years, and that just means crop potential for us. Because the later we get, typically we see reduction in that crop potential. 22 and 23, we were planted probably mid to late May, which is not the best situation. But this year, we're planted earlier. We're, we had our first beets in the ground by April 11th. By the 18th, we had 15% of the River Valley planted. Now we had some rain, which was welcome last week, but now we're ramping up again. And as of today, we're 27% planted, and it looks to be a good week going forward. Besides good seedbed preparation and planting, what else should sugar beet growers be thinking about? One thing you want to check out before you go to the field is to make sure you have the right variety selected for that particular field. What I mean by that is, hey, is it going to be a field with some disease pressures and have the right varietal tolerances built in for that? What's your crop rotation? Or is this more pressure regarding the phenomyces, rhizoctonia, other diseases like that, fusarium as well. Also, is it going to be a field that you're planning on for pre-pile? Should it be a high sugar variety, etc.? Also, a grower should consider a spring cover crop. That can really pay huge dividends, especially with protecting seedling sugar beets and preventing wind erosion. In our database, we're showing about a 340-pound sugar increase by using cover crop the last five years, so it is important to protect those beets. Also, tillage equipment, don't let them get too far ahead of your planter. Uh, You don't want that soil to dry out and dry out that seed bed before you get planted. What are some early season pest control measures that should happen now? Well, now we're looking at resistant weeds, so the only really great tool we have for that is soil-applied herbicides. So for kochia, you want to be looking at ethylfumisate applied as a pre or a pre-emerge. Or for water hemp, you can use dual magnum or ethylfumisate as well as a pre Other things we're looking at is, hey, if you have emerged weeds out there that weren't taken care of by the tillage application, you might have to consider a burn-down application of Paraquat or Gramoxone if the beets aren't up. If the beets are up, don't do that because they will be killed. So it's only if they're still underneath the soil surface to get those emerged weeds. Also, what's your insecticide problems look like? Are you battling sugar beet root maggot or springtails? Well, you got to be considering possible uh, counter application for an insecticide. Also, looking at rhizoctonia, you might want to be putting an at-plant rhizoctonia fungicide in with your starter fertilizer to protect those seedlings from rhizoctonia sitting in and do that based on your field history, your varietal tolerance you've selected, and just prior crop rotations. We typically see more rhizoctonia and soybean, or previous years where soybeans and edible beans were planted. But with that, we know planting can be a busy time. We look to have a busy week with planting progression this week. Granted, we see there might be a little bit of rain coming in Friday, Saturday, but a lot can get done in the next few days. But just be safe out there on the road and in the field. Joe, there's some history with early season planting. I mean, compared to last year, you'll be planting a month early. Yeah, I look back, the last time we planted this early was probably pretty recently, 2015, 2016, 2017. And those years, 2016 was record crop prior to last year. So we had about a 30.4 ton crop in 16. And then 2017, very similar planting date, we had a 30.2 ton crop. So that was one and two for tons per acre back to back. 15 was also a very nice crop. We were planted about the same. Actually, we were probably a little bit ahead, but I think we're going to catch up this week. Definitely to those average planting dates of probably being around maybe April 28th, 24th. So a lot of great potential. When I can check that box off where the majority of the beets are planted in April, that's just a box check for, yep, there's good crop potential for this coming year. Thanks, Joe. Our guest has been Joe Hastings, agronomist for the American Crystal Sugar Company. This has been the Sugar Beet Report, bringing you the latest information from NDSU throughout the sugar beet growing season.